my name is Matt Elliott. I uh, fish the local reservoirs. We're here this morning, Pretty Boy Reservoir. Uh, tell you a little bit about my setup here. It's the boat itself is a Weldcraft 2070 uh, custom-made boat. It's made out of 80 gauge aluminum, which normally it's 100 gauge, but they were kind enough to make it 80 gauge for weight purposes. Uh, it's about 600 pounds. Um, power it with a Torquedo 4.0 and lithium batteries which make the boat uh, you know of this size you know pretty fast uh, for just a 4.0 motor tops out at about eight miles an hour he's the first person that hasn't been like why do you need all those depth finders yeah <laughs> no, I understand it I mean man I'm telling you the technology side has been hands down the most important thing to me that has helped me with my success I've had I mean and fortunately enough I've had the opportunity to work with Hummingbird and uh, Minn Kota and they're really good people it's a nice map yeah it has the um, Lake Master chip that has contours for the reservoirs detail on this is unbelievable with the mega imaging. That'll help you find some fish. Oh yeah. Alright, so one thing I want to do, we got a hundred percent we got a hundred percent of our uh, our battery, right? Yep. So what I want you to do is to take it all the way up to maximum speed. Alright. And we're gonna we're gonna look at the range on your, your throttle here. And then we're gonna stair step it down to seven mile an hour and hold it and then six and five okay and so on so go ahead and crank it all the way up and see what we get so looks like now that i get a i get a difference there's a, a you know with both of us being back here you'll notice that watch draw goes up yeah and then when I get to the front, it's all from the weight, the weight balance. So you're doing 40, 66, watt draw. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're getting a little bit over 4K. And then if I stand up here, to go down at all? Yeah, it goes to 39. Yeah. It uses less, all right. Yeah, so when, so, I, flat, when I flatten the boat out, there's not as much weight on the tail end. So you're at seven and a half miles per hour at an hour and ten. All right, let's go ahead and take it down. Okay. So at six miles per hour, we got to an hour fifty-one. We're gonna drop down to five. Hitting it wide open drains the battery, but as soon as you pull it back a little bit, your range increases tremendously. All right, five. We're gonna say 333. We're gonna go down to four. Yeah, there's four. Four, 3.9, four. So eight hours. 12 minutes, eight hours, eight hours, 12 minutes. We're gonna call that three. Keep thinking about 2.7, Super Shad wraps at Lock Raven. Yeah, <laughs> that's the specific speed. 2.7 miles an hour, yep, 140 feet back, you're coming 19 feet of water. Nice. <laughs> I, I troll with the torpedo on the kayak. Yeah, so 2.0, 2 it's still at 99. Let's see, the last, uh, the last four years, three years I fished the, the reservoir tournaments. Uh, I don't know how many wins we've had, but I know that we have won a lot of tournaments with big bags and that's big bags you know to me are 28 pounds plus out of eight fish out of your eight fish limit 
Uh, last year, uh, Vic Rainey and I caught 35 pounds, 14 ounces out of Liberty Reservoir, uh, which was just like a God-given day. That's a huge bag of fish. That was the biggest bag ever caught in any reservoir tournaments uh, by a few pounds. And a few pounds in tournament fishing is huge. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, tournaments are determined by ounces, if not water weight. And um, so, let's see, this year we've won two of the Metro Reservoir Anglers tournaments. Uh, we had a 31 pound bag at Liberty and a 28 pound bag at Lock Raven. Uh, we've caught, I think, big fish of the tournament four or five times this year. Uh, yes, sir. Well, there's a heavy wire hook, my friend. On oh, a mouthful, custom. That is a good one. Oh, where were you Sunday? You were right here. That's a pretty fish. I didn't really even feel that fish pick it up. So we're running a Torquedo 4.0, an electric only reservoir. At one point in time, the really electric motor quote unquote the motor of the times and they were a tremendous motor but over the last few years the torpedo motors the 4.0s and now the 10.0s are the premier motor in the area uh, just from what a 48 volt motor like this 4.0 can do for me outweighs what a 60 volt ray uh, offers and for speed and, and just the technology, it's, it's, it's the most current. Uh, you know, it, there aren't any other electric motors uh, like it. You know, it, it's different than a golf cart setup, which is similar to your Ray motor, where you have your electric motor sitting on top of a normal outboard lower unit. These motors, they have the control board on the top, and then the lower unit is everything it's just a it houses your electric motor and you know it's it's been a it's been a great motor for me and another neat feature is that the control throttle control shows you it, it's given me all the information I need the percentage of, of battery life that remains uh, the runtime I have left my current speed via GPS and then the watt draw and all that's important information for me so I know that I can go out fishing and then make it back in uh, with plenty of battery and safe and sound what we were looking for hmm, got you that time yes, sir Oh, yes, sir. That's what we came here for. Hooked up. No chance of spitting that. Hmm. Another one falls to the mouthful. Five pounds on the dot. Haven't caught many today, but the few we've caught have come off jigs. And uh, jigs catch big fish. All right, so at the end of a tournament day, I know that, you know, when I go wide open, we need to be in at four o'clock, and I know that by look, simply looking at the digital readout, we're going seven miles an hour, and it's gonna take me 25 minutes to get in. The remaining battery power I have just tells me I've got 35 minutes, so it'll be plenty of time to get in. <laughs> 